mean, this is, this is how, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't want to, to go into these philosophical things, but this is how people really can dream. And what to you and I may sound or think at the moment, at the time, like a, a, an, a sort of silly idea, it's a dream. It's a dream in someone's mind and it's going to drive it, it's going to look very different. Can you imagine Canberra in 10 years? This, this could be a new, a new, uh, a unique new development in this city. This city never seen this before. Some uh, olive oil, olive oil from Canberra. Can you imagine this? Olive oil from Canberra. Athena, Canberra Gold, Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Say it everyone. Goodbye, Athena. Canberra Gold, Extra Virgin Olive Olympia, Greece of old, I'd like to introduce something new from the new country. Canberra Gold, Goddess Athena. Canberra Gold, Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's very fitting that uh, we bring the goddess Athena, Canberra Gold, to Olympia. The idea is to make it one of the best olive oils in Australia, if not the world. Now we have olive trees here are 5,000 years old, I hear. So I read. These are from trees that are two years old. It's from the new country, and it's coming back for the first time to the old country. It's estimated Canberrans consume around 100,000 litres of olive oil each year. And with Australia currently importing around $120 million worth of olive oil, it's no wonder local growers think they've stumbled upon an untapped market. A report today calculated the viability of establishing olive groves in the southern tablelands. There are now 64,000 olive trees in this region and they need to find markets. And Canberrans get the good oil in the annual third, the third annual Olive Harvest Festival. Here's the test. Mmm, beautiful. While most Canberrans seem to be getting out the winter woolies, a number are celebrating the city's third annual olive harvest. Fully automatic olive presses are now churning out the oil, pressing more than 700 tonnes an hour. It's one of the world's oldest traditions, and it's now come to Canberra. Who does not love this beautiful tree? Olive harvesting is still an infant industry in the ACT, but crops are already producing a fine quality yield. This type of variety is called the Kalamada olives. As you can see, they're beautifully ripe now and ready to pick. The harvest period, always time for celebration. There's also a beautiful Greek song regarding the olive and the olive tree, sung from uh, by a big, uh, good composer actually, Costa Haji. Once picked, the olives are then taken to the warehouse, poured into the presses, and finally, extra virgin olive oil. And here's the test. Mmm, beautiful. Hamish McDonald, Win News. Tielles e fundomenes, ine efgaristimenes, den dus lipi ute na filo, de dus lipi ute clari, ya ti pios clari na copsi, ya ti pios clari na pari, ya ti pios clari na pari, ke ti na to cani ti. Ti ore alia inafti, ti ore pragma inafto, na to vlebis, na to cheres, na to camarones, ke pu 
που τόσο μακριά, 14-15 χιλιάδες μίλια μακριά από την πατρίδα μας, μαζεύουμε ελιές καλαμάτας του Βόλου και οτιδήποτε άλλη παραγωγή υπάρχει εδώ, στην μικρή πρωτεύουσα της Αυστραλίας. It was harvest time today for one of the ACT's burgeoning primary industries. Across the New South Wales Southern Highlands, the olive industry is starting to spin its financial rewards. In Canberra, there's only one commercial olive grove and its first full crop is ripe for the picking. The classroom was taken outside today as students from Lynham Primary put their green thumbs to good use, picking olives as part of their Greek studies program. It was a case of many hands make light work. And what olive picking session would be complete without a Greek tune to fill the air? The Papyrus Olive Grove is the territory's only olive grove and boasts over 12,000 plants, making it virtually impossible for the youngsters to harvest all the fruit. And to top the day off, a taste test. And the verdict? Ugh. But while the children may not have enjoyed the taste, Yucky. the day was still a success. See, we've all had a good time, haven't we? Yeah! <laughs> the harvesting is expected to continue for another week. Gabrielle Boyle, ABC News, Canberra. Yuck indeed, I don't think so. From the ABC's news team, have a great weekend. Good night. Students at Lynham Primary School are taking their Greek lessons onto the olive groves. The enthusiastic children lending a helping hand to pick these his fruits at the Papyrus Olive Grove. The students arrived en masse, eager to work and put their Greek to the test. Everyone say Kalimera Kirie Kuparitsa. Kalimera Kirie It didn't take long before the children were in control. Getting every olives. Give them like that, and off they come. See? That's it. The Papyrus Olive Grove is still very young, but its owners couldn't be happier. Everybody said before that uh, Canberra uh, climate is no good for the Kalamata olives. As we can see here, is the right uh, place, and they're very successful. New South Wales olive growers travelling to the Territory to use the local grove's facilities. These olives come from a property just out past Sutton. Uh, there's about 4,000 trees, about three or four years old. Um, we've doubled the harvest from last year. Oh, I think the label's going to be Belmonte, Belmonte Olive Grove or something like that. I think, I think Michael designed the label himself for us, which is nice of him. Yeah.
Out in the fields, many hands are making light work. School's never been so much fun. It's great. It's exercise. And it's good. And it's helpful for learning. Um, the pickle is just to make oil. I think it's good learning Greek here and at school. Hey, bravo! It's like ELS. Yeah. A few songs helping to make the experience complete. The joy of the outdoors bringing smiles all round. Kate Prattley, Win News. Tonight, pulling boys into line, a bold push for single sex classes in Canberra schools. The olive harvest in Canberra has brought some trying times and plenty of jubilant moments too, as local growers toast a fruitful year. The Papara's olive grove is in the midst of its second harvest. Last year we had a very good year, this year we had some storm damage a couple of months ago, so just when the fruit was ripening. Some of the fruit was damaged by recent storms, but the owners say that's just part of working in the industry. We won't have as good a crush as we did last year, but as the harvesting continues, the staff at the Olive Grove are working day and night. The process involves all hands on deck as thousands upon thousands of olives are cleaned and crushed. So we start at 7.30 in the morning to 7.30 at night. We'll keep going till 12 o'clock. And as the first flow of oil appears, the producers say they're happy with its colour and texture. This is our, our first oil for the 2003 season. And it's no surprise those involved in making the olive oil say the result is well worth the effort. <laughs> Kendall Parkinson, Win News. Here we have Pepper's Ranch Camera Gold Olive Oil, the first drop from 2003. <laughs> Very excited actually, very excited. This is uh, with our brand new olive press that we had last year. We first used it last year with the help of our technicians from Enerossi. Fabulous machine, Enerossi. So this year was our first real challenge of doing it all ourselves and it's been successful, it's been great. And the quality of the oil is really good. We're very happy with the machinery. It does a great job. Oh, most definitely. In fact, we're expanding. We'll have about 20 more acres of olives in the next, well, we'll start planting at the end of this year. And so hopefully that'll cover about 60 acres of Papyrus Ranch olives. So the operation's just getting bigger all the time. It's very exciting for me. So much to learn from. My, obviously my dad, Michael, established the farm and I'm very excited about continuing the family tradition and teaching my kids how to do it. Actually, yes, well, yeah, we're doing a few uh, crushes for a few different farmers around town. So some very dear friend of ours out in Murray Bateman brought uh, half a ton of olives here this morning and so we're crushing them for them and they get to take this beautiful oil home. So we're always happy to help our friends. Yeah, very excited. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, we just got the oil coming through out of the decanter. It's looking very nice. Uh, it's coming out very clean. And it looks like a, a good crop, a good mixture this year. Yeah, I've had Mick gave me a bit on the bread, on the toast. Beautiful. Nothing like freshly squeezed oil on toast. Absolutely beautiful.
So what does it taste like? Just beautiful. Fresh oil on toast, you can't beat it. Especially when you make it yourself. Everything always tastes better when you make it yourself. Kebra <laughs> Gold is here again. And uh, we'll try some... Uh, this year we'll drink it uh, from the glass. Cheese. Oh, 100%. Very tasty, very beautiful. And when you drink this, you know, you feel 10 years younger the next day. You know, here you go. <laughs> it tastes better on toast, I think, than drinking it straight. It tastes very nice. This is another symbolic and perhaps a historic day for the Greeks. And at the same time, very proud to be part of it. That is Papari's Ranch. As you can see, we raised three beautiful flags, the Greek, the Australian, and the Cypriot flag. Those flags, they mean a lot for uh, the owners of Papari's Ranch, has been Greeks in this country for so many years, since the migration, and they're not afraid, and they're not worried to show the true colors and there they are. Se gnorizo abo di nopsi, tu spafiu di dromeri. Se gnorizo abo di nopsi, tu mi arretraiti. Ora da la cameni, tu mi vira la pea. Te so brota andromeni, heo he. Can we just explain who Goddess Athena is? The Goddess of Wisdom. The Goddess of War. The Goddess of War. The Goddess of the Olive. The Goddess of the Olive. And her friend was the Kukuvaya. Kukuvaya. The Owl. Ikukubaya and Elias. Elias. I love the big the dolphin, Todelfini. Todelfini. And we haven't learned the horse, but it's Toalogo. Toalogo. Taludia. Today's been a really good experience for the children because it's been a real life learning situation. We learned about Elias at school. Today they came and saw the olives in an olive grove. They met Michali, Kiria Michali, who owns the olive grove. They met the olive pickers, who came from all different parts of the world, including Australia and Crete and the mainland of Greece. The mothers came. The children saw how the olives were put into the refinery and turned in, into extra virgin olive oil. It was a wonderful learning experience. And the best part about this education is that it was fun for the kids. We've had a great time. Ευχαριστώ. Όλοι μας περάσαμε πάρα πολύ ωραία σήμερα. Τα παιδάκια ήρθαν εδώ πέρα και είδαν τις ελιές, τις πραγματικές ελιές πάνω σε δέντρα. Γνωρίσανε τον κύριο Μιχάλη, είναι το δικό του οικόπεδο. Είδανε πως οι ελιές πήγαν στο εργοστάσιο και, και μπαίνουν μέσα ελιές και βγαίνουν έξω ο λάδι σε καυτό εδώ πέρα. Μαζέψανε ελιές, τραγουδίσανε τραγούδια, το κοκοράκι, κουράσκα, κουράσκα, καλό δεν αντέχω, τον εθνικό ύμνο της Ελλάδας και περάσαμε πάρα πολύ ωραία, ωραία. διασκεδάσανε και μάθανε μαζί. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Σπουδαία ημέρα. Σπουδαία. Καλημέρα, <laughs> Ιμμανουέλ. Everyone here, yes. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Everyone say, Kalimera Kirie Kuparitsa. We're going to call you Kirie Mikhali. Kalosorisate. Kalimera. Kalimera. Nice to see you all. Elias. After seeing the Elias, we must have them. After seeing the Putis, Trome. Table olives. 
the ones you uh, make to eat. Kalamata, aftes ine kalamata eles. Kalamata eles. Σα ευχαριστώ, Μιχάλη. Ευχαριστώ, Μιχάλη. Μπράβο. Που είσαι μόνο αυτό, και όταν θα έρθει. Έτσι. 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 It's great. It's great. It's exercise. Well, it's good. And it's helpful for learning. It can help you count. So what are you learning? We're learning um, of about olives and how many. And we're learning how to count olives as well. Όταν θα πάω, κυρία μου στο παζάρι. Κοκκοράκι θα αγοράσω ένα κοκκοράκι. Το κοκκοράκι, κίκρι, κίκρι. Να σε ξυπνάει κάθε πόλη. Όταν θα πάω, κυρία μου στο παζάρι. Πετινάρι θα αγοράσω ένα πετινάρι. Το πετινάρι, τσιου, τσιου, το κοκοράκι, κίκρι, κίκρι, να σε συγνάρει αυτέ πρωί μου. Όταν θα πάω, κυρά μου στο χαζάρι, θα σ' αγοράσω ένα σκυλάκι, το σκυλάκι γαβ γαβ, το πετινάρι, τσιου, τσιου, το κοκοράκι, κίκρι, κίκρι, ναι. Everyone say Kurastika. Kurastika. I'm just really excited to be here. So fun. I just can't explain why. Um, the pick olives. Just to make oil. Vignoria, so a pot in hopsy, set the horse to Tomari. Agnoria, a pot in hopsy. It's so fun. Vignoria, a pot in hopsy. To start you to Tomari. Senoria, a pot in hopsy. Yeah, these are thousands of leaves. Yeah, I mean not thousands of leaves, thousands of oh yes, 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 yes. And um, we're doing a great job. We're picking every one, which we're going to do all of these ones. Maybe, maybe not. Some are, have um, blankets around them, and then they're and they're picking olives, and then they put them on the blanket, and then they, well, they used to um, in place um, get sticks, and um, used, they used to get sticks in Greece, and they even well 
and they used to get six and grease and then whack the olives down and then they would then they would carry them in um, the blankets. Then they would take it. Then then they would even um like then they would um like um put the get them and then squash them. Then they would go like. I think it's kind of good learning things, but I think it's good learning Greek here and at school, usually it should be, but I think it's a pretty good time. Hey, Popo is a police and yes. And in here they get separated, so there's pulp, and what happens through this tube? What, the oil goes out here and the rubbish goes somewhere else, is that right? Yes. And down here we have the fresh lavi. Say lavi. 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 Bravo. So Elias go one end. Say Elias go one end. Elias go one end. And lavi comes out the other. And lavi comes out the other. Great morning. Lovely kids, beautiful teacher, they give us a hand. We are proud to have them. And we, of course, we thank the teachers and um, the parents for allowing them to come and visit us. Thank you very much for the kids who came to the school here. They helped us a little bit and we are so happy that we saw them, that we explained them, 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 και πάντοτε θα το θυμόμαστε σε όλη μας α, τη ζωή. Μας φτιάξανε την ημέρα, μας κάνανε τόσο χαρούμενους που α, είναι απερίγραπτο. Τους ευχαριστούμε το όλους, το δάσκαλο και τους γονείς βέβαια και πάντοτε θα, είναι, θα είμαστε ανοιχτά εάν θέλουν να ξαναγυρίσουν να δουν ή και λες οι φουντωμένες είναι ευχαριστημένες Δεν τους λείπει ούτε ένα φίλο, δεν τους λείπει ούτε κλαρί Γιατί πιο σκλαρί να κόψει, γιατί πιο σκλαρί να πάρει Γιατί πιο σκλαρί να πάρει και τι να το κάνει τι Olives of uh, 2003. This is another special year which Goddess Athena helped us and it, it looks it's very successful. Hey, look at that. That gives you a pleasure, a great pleasure to collect them, not, not just eat. 
Just yeah. look at them and collect them and make you happy. Because you can really find good full olives like that. So Canberra's been good? Canberra is very good, of course. Uh, everybody said before that uh, Canberra uh, climate is not good for the Kalamata olives. As we can see here, it's the right uh, place and they're very successful. And I advise everybody else to do that, to plan and for the um, future of Canberra in Australia. They're very, very special. Yes, there is a future for uh, olives uh, all over Australia and especially in Canberra. Of course, uh, you look after them, they uh, grow quicker. But there is this, the climate is the right climate for oh. in Canberra. This one is uh, particularly for uh, table olives uh, for eating. Yeah, that's why I left home. But uh, we have too many, and most of them will uh, will make olive oil. Uh, this one's because they are big. They, they make less oil than the uh, normal ones, than the little ones. But the oil is very special. So you happy? Very happy. Always happy. With the product of Papa is all in the You see? Beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Mm, all right, that's great. It's unusual. It's different. For an Aussie to do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the old olive. Anyway, they come. Pickled. Stuffed. A whole lot. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> How do you see him? Ah, just butter everywhere, butter everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a little. This is where he's coming. Down until they find it hard. Yeah. We will track the big one, which hole, and then we will push it down. So the ones will climb over slowly. So tell me, then, why are you doing it? Just for fun. <laughs> this is fun. Of course, hobby part they call it. Always planting them. You tie them down so uh, the wind won't blow them away, and also the olive will keep grow straight up. Eventually, we will fill it up for the wild duck. Hello? When the time comes, we'll uh, add the tide at the same time. So the water can come and pick up olive trees. I mean, olive. Okay, Manuel, you think we're doing a good job? 21. <laughs> 601. Isn't it 5,601? 5,991. Close to the Life in Greece, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's it? built their own little church. Close. Where's the Yeah. I mean, it's like a Papa is, 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 Papa is,
Εμείς έχουμε την καλή ιδέα. Αυτά είναι μάτια, μάτια. Έτσι, πράσινα. Πάνε τίποτα. Ναι, έτσι το πώς θα πίνεις το τέλος. Τρέχεις το πέρα, όλο. Ναι, βέβαια. Σιγά σιγά. Για το σπίτι και μπροστά που το κάνω, θα έχει η βεράντα, θα είναι έτσι μπροστά στο γυριστή, μπροστά στο τέλος. Ναι, ναι. Δεν είναι πάλι δεν καθόλου. Θα ανοίξω ένα κρασάκι. Νομίζω ότι... Ήπιε δεν είπε ένα κρασάκι. Πρέπει να ξέχουμε την ώρα. Να δούμε όλα πρώτα και όλα. Πρέπει να ξέχουμε την ώρα. Εντάξει. Πον εδώ είχε πολλά τα αποχωρητήρια. Λαίδις, δισέιβολ. Αυτό είναι για λέει τη Σέβου και με. Δεν είναι δύο-τρία δεκατό. Το λέγεται από την πίστα, Αυτό είναι για απογείωση τώρα. Α, είναι για το τραπέζι αυτό. Γιατί είναι έξω μέσα, έχουμε αγγλίε. Έχουμε air condition μέσα. Έτσι έτσι. Και μέσα στο δέντρο, έτσι και πέρα δεν παίρνει. Μάλλα, εσύ θα έχει ετοιμάσει όλα για τα σπόρτα. Εσύ έχουμε για τα φώτα. Για τα σπορτικά όλα. Για μάσκα, λέω, όχι για τα σπόρτα. 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 Έχουν την ελληνική μουσική εκεί. Το ράδιο. Περνάμε από το άντεφο. Τα κάλα λόγια στα στόματα, αλλά τα κουνω πια. Έχει ένα γέρο εδώ και υπογιατίζει αυτά, γύρω γύρω τα λουλούδια. Και υπογιατίζει, έπιασε προφτής η χακερό να έρθει και έχει όλο κάνει κυράτε. Δεν την πρόλαβα να το σταματήσω. Μα αυτά όλα πολλά. Έχει η καρκεβάζα, είδατε πού το... Είναι ωραία, είναι ωραία. Είναι λαϊκός καλλιτέχνης. Αλήθεια. Μπορώ να είσαι. Αυτό είναι η Πελοποννησία. Αυτό είναι η Πελοποννησία. Και έχεις κύθυρα τσιριγότες. Έρχονται από εδώ πέρα. Αλλά έχεις τον κύριο Κουμπαρίτσα, ο οποίος είναι από εδώ. Κάπου εδώ πρέπει να έχει ένα χωριό που λέγεται Πάπαρη. So he's coming from here. Ε, ενδιαφέρον. Η δική σου πού είναι, από την Μέτσος. Εδώ είναι η τεχνική... Εδώ το νερά από το κρίκ. Που να τα ανοίξουμε το... Όχι, όχι καλέ. Το γκρίζι. Είναι το γκρίνο εδώ πέρα. Δεν σα πει λε. Είναι ένα ίσια εδώ πέρα και ένα σιγωνία. Τι πολύ αυτό είναι σαν το Ναι, αλλά αυτό που θα ανοίξω τώρα είναι από το μπορ που είναι 300 πόδια κάτω. Το λέω να κάνει σαν το λεφτό. Αυτό το είχαν ήταν πλαστικό στο ημερφόλ και το έφτιαξα. Αυτά τα δωμάτια ήταν φλατάκια εκεί που βλέπεις. Δεν ξέρω, Μιχάλης, πρέπει να το δω και τι έχει κάνει, πόσο βάζεις είναι το αυτό. Δεν είναι πολύ βάζεις. Δεν ξέρω τι έχει κάνει, πόσο βάζεις. Τα κρύβωτα από εκεί, τα βλέπεις, τα φέρεις, τα πάνω εκεί, 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 Λόντρι, έβαλα εδώ, ήταν όλα μόνο που τα καθάρισα. 
Πόντο σπίτι, δεν ανοίξω το νόμο. Ακόμα το. Ακόμα. Ακόμα το. Take a look at the lucky one of the organizer. Give it to me. Yeah. 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 Όποιοι από εμεί έχουμε προβλήματα και μα διώξουν οι γυναίκε, έρχομαστε εδώ να. Κάτι ένα βλάτι τη ζωή. Έχει κάπρετ, όλοι είναι κίτσι, είναι πέτρο. Και ένα δέρμα έτσι. Δεν έχουμε τελειώσει ακόμα. Αυτό τώρα το τέρμα. Γιατί εδώ ήταν όλο μικρά extensions. Από εδώ είχαν έντρι, αυτή η πορτίτσα την κρέμισα. Γκρέμισα τον τοίχο εδώ. Γύρω γύρω, θα σα δείξω το εξή. Ξέρετε τι ετοιμαζόταν, ε? Μήπω πουλήσουμε το μέλι, να μείνουμε εδώ. Να ρωτήσουμε το τσόπε. Μέχρι να φτιάξει το σπίτι. 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 Μέχρι να Ναι. Και εδώ να κοιμηθεί, θα το φτιάξω ωραίο, θα το φτιάξω ωραίο, θα το φτιάξω ωραίο, θα το φτιάξω ωραίο, θα το Κάλα Έτσι θα είναι όποιος θα έρχεται βίζητα, θα γιθανε εννοώ. Είναι. Αλλά δεν είναι... Επισκέψεις. Αυτό είναι για επισκέψεις, χωριστά. Άρα λοιπόν, Δημήτρη... Να βάλει λουζόγια, να βάλει λουζόγια. Αυτό είναι η πόρτα ανοιχτή. Ναι, έχει κάνει μπλό. Ναι, <laughs> 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 Εσείς το πιστεύετε το αγοράσατε έτσι. Το αγοράσαμε από πάνω από είχε μάθος. Άρα δεν το κάνανε εξέτσι. Άμα το φτύζαμε μέσα θα γίνονται λιγάκι πιο καλύτερο. Αγώ εδώ βλέπω, αν κρίνω από τον σύζυγο, ότι παίρνει το χτίζει. Δηλαδή και αυτό που θα χτίζετε, θα σε δίνει το χτίζει άλλα 40 χρόνια. Πρέπει να αλλάξεις το... Και αν το χτίζετε στην αλήθεια, ξέρετε εσείς που λέω. Ποιος θα φροντίζει όλα θα δω, είναι εδώ άτομα. Ορίστε. Αν τελειώσει, θα το Έχουμε πάντα το πλήσιο, έχουμε μαγαζιά. Αυτό ήταν το ορίζιμα, κοιτάξτε, θα το φτιάξω. Επειδή στο ταβάνια είναι διαφορετικά, θα το κάνω ράφ. Να είναι αυτό το τέξιο, όπως θα κάνει την εκκλησία απ' έξω. Θα γίνει μόνο αυτό το κομμάτι. Πώς πρέπει να έχεις μεγάλη υπομονή για να κάνεις αυτό το πράγμα. Σε όλο περνάω υπομονή. Εγώ είσαι της Εκκλησάδης και μου το βάζω. Εγώ είσαι της Εκκλησάδης και μου το βάζω. Εγώ είσαι της Εκκλησάδης και μου το βάζω. Έλα τα βρε. Έλα.
Κύριε Μαπούτρη, δεν έχει και κουμπαρίζει καμιά σικιά, α πούμε, για ένα σίκο. Και έχω 35 κουμπάρι. Ούτε ναι. σίκο. Τώρα υπάρχει καμία. Τώρα δεν υπάρχει. Λοιπόν. Ε, ένα χρόνο είμαι εδώ. Είναι, αυτή εδώ πέρα γίνεται τεράστιο σύμβολο. Κάποιοι μου που είσαι εκείνα. Ε, ένα χρόνο εγώ είμαι εδώ, αυτό μόνο. 14 μήνε ακριβώ. Που το πήρατε αυτό. Ναι. Πότε θα αργήσει να χτίσει το σπίτι. Σε τέσσερι εβδομάδε. Ωραία. Έχει και σέκυλο τρόβο, μεγάλο. Κοίτα εδώ. Ναι, ναι. Παίρνει από εκεί, βγαίνει από εδώ, είσαι. Ναι, ναι, πα γύρω γύρω. Να κλείσει το νερό εδώ για να κλείσει το λάθο. Mind you, it's only 10 minutes away from the city. 10 minutes? <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Not even 10 minutes. Same from the city. <laughs> you know? Not from Wyden. Wyden's only 3 minutes away. <laughs> Αυτά είναι για να πηγαίνουν τα τάξη άγριε να γεννούν. Και τα χρησιμοποίησαν, βγάλανε κάπου 60 βιβλία. It's got a little look, you know. Very good. Excellent, eh? It's a real farm. So now, then let me. A rock, you know. Yeah, you know, we're not mixing this. We're just making it hamilos. Yeah. The one I see, we're into hamilos, as me. Allah. Almost, he. I'm at the fjax. Can you believe it? Good character. Exactly. A rock, you know. Ακόμα και αυτά τα κράτη εδώ πέρα φορτώνουν τα ζώα. Ναι. Γιατί αυτά είναι. Μόνο που δεν είχαν πρόβλημα να είχαν πρόβλημα εδώ πέρα, δεν έχει βούρσια έτσι. Τα χέρια τη βγαίνει. Όχι, είναι σε βούρσια έτσι. Να, δεν είναι βούρσια. Είναι βούρσια έτσι. Ναι, είναι αυτά τα. Πώ είναι τα πόρτα εδώ. Όχι, πολύ. Ακόμα και. Αυτέ είναι τι έγινε μόνο εδώ περίπου. Για όλε τι τέσσερι μήνε έχω βάλει αυτέ οι ώρε. Είναι το National Tree, Grace. Ευλογημένη ελιά. Αυτές οι μικρές τώρα τις έχω. Για φαντάσου να μεγαλώσουν αυτά και να είναι ελαιώνες. Το όρος των ελαιών εδώ πέρα. Για φαντάσου. Στις αγκενάρες, Μάικη. Number one. This is how dreams are made. I mean, this is how... I mean, I don't know. I don't want to go into these philosophical things, but this is how people really can dream. And what to you and I may sound or think at the moment, at the time, like a, 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 a sort of silly idea, it's a dream. It's a dream in someone's mind and it's going to drive it, it's going to look very different. Can you imagine Canberra in 10 years? This, this could be a new, a new, uh, a unique new development in this city. This city never seen this before. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yes, and yeah. make some uh, olive oil. Olive oil from Canberra. Can <laughs> you imagine that? Olive oil from Canberra. <laughs> oh, God. Wine. Kala, edo krasi ehi, ehi kialdes me wine. But uh, olive oil from Canberra? This, this is going to be history's first. Mm. Here's the gate there. Eh? Only to the there, or they will put their service there. But I think it's interesting. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gives you a bit of uh, the flavor of... Uh, uh, what is that? With, uh, with one leg. I think it lost the other leg. We have some vandalism here. Some vandals came here. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, this is uh, the blend of the... Uh, what's the heritage? The English heritage, or the Scottish heritage, or the, or the European heritage. I mean, this could be done. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Do you think that people of vandals came and uh, broke them? Maybe old age. I mean, that's, that's what he's got. The, uh, he's got a problem here because the security of this place, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you really have to have people. <laughs> he sent you a kiss if you like. Don't tell him. Ask him to give you a kiss. He will. He will give you a kiss. So this is your dream or your husband's dream? My husband's. It's my church. That's your dream. My husband fixing up too. 
Do you like it? What do you think? It's nice? Something different? Yeah, very different. Yeah. That's good. Good. We've got a lot of water. There's not many ducks. Usually there are wild ducks everywhere here. But none today. I have to go and show him the birds. We've got a king fish. Is your little car? Yes. An old car. It's not a new one. It's an old one. Yeah, there. Yeah. Do you see the king pensions? Yeah, they're huge. Tak is this for you before? San Cotopela, Cotopela. Give us the medal of honor. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. You don't want to go in, but you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Professor, uh, 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 uh,